What's up guys, I'm officially back from my vacation and ready to get back into the grind. Today we are taking a look at Camera Plus mod. Now with the introduction of 90 and 360 degree gameplay, there is much more to explain, but I will try my best to keep it brief and simple. The class is now in session. The first thing you need is to run Beat Saber once and close out of it if you are just starting to mod. Now open Mod Assistant. I already made a tutorial on how to install and run Mod Assistant in which I will put the link in the description. You open it up, make sure the game version in the bottom left is the most recent. Quickly check that you have everything checkmarked in the Options tab. Go to Mods tab. Essential mods have already been pre-checked and everything else you have the option to checkmark, in this case Camera Plus. Then click Install or Update. Open up Beat Saber. Now as you can see from my video that I have recorded, I have three cameras set up on my screen recording from three different angles. Bottom left 360 and 90 degree angle which rotates and follows in the direction that the map is rotating. Bottom right is first person view and the middle is third person. When you first start using it, you want to move your mouse cursor over to the viewer of the game that you see on your monitor screen. Right click and the camera plus menu will pop up and this is where you will edit the camera. To create a camera, you simply click add new camera. A small viewer will pop up usually on the left corner of the main view. You can move it around by clicking on it and dragging it wherever you want as well as scaling the size of it by grabbing the very edge of it. Personally, I would go for placing them somewhere in the four corners of the viewer, but generally you should only need one or two cameras. Note that pressing add new camera more than once in one go creates the cameras, but they are overlapping and you need to grab and move them. Another note, and this is the biggest one, is that each viewer you create has its own menu to mess around with. You have to close the menu and move the cursor over to the other camera viewer you created. Right click and adjust it. If you don't want any specific cameras you created, then simply click remove selected camera. To adjust cameras, you would click on this section which you can choose three perspective views in this case the third person. Then you click on it and you will switch the camera view to third person in the viewer you decided to adjust and if you don't like where the camera is placed then you can move it in the in-game space by making sure you have show third person camera enabled. In this case the only way you can tell if it's active to what you want is if it is showing you the opposite choice of what you selected previously. Then you can hop into the game, turn around, and you should see the camera. From here, you can point at it, pull the VR trigger to grab and move it around, twist the controller to rotate and using the analog sticks to either pull or push away. Once you have it in a place to your liking, just let go of the trigger. You should also go back and disable the camera in the viewer of your PC from showing in your in-game or else it might appear in your recordings. The duplicate selected camera is just as it sounds. It duplicates the currently selected viewer you have and you can move it around. If you don't want it, you can click remove selected camera. Force camera upright will enable your camera that's in the first person view to always remain upright. That means that whenever you are tilting your head and everything is following your perspective, this will allow the camera to reposition and tilt angles to be more aligned. Essentially, as the name suggests, upright. Spawn 38 cameras will spawn 38 cameras, and that's a no-brainer, but who will even want this? Don't press this as it will be aggravating to delete them all and no one will want to watch your recordings and possibly your computer will crash. Transparent walls will make your walls see-through but with an outline when you are recording. It helps if you want your viewers to not be blocked from seeing what you and your avatar are doing as you play the game. If you do not have that on, then it will display solid walls which are just the regular walls you see in the game. Lastly, layout has additional options you can play with such as 
Res resetting a camera's position and rotation. I don't mess with layout at all, just the standard settings it already comes in is fine. Layer, I honestly have no idea <laughs> what it does as when messing with it nothing changes. Field of view will enable you to catch more of the game surrounding by increasing it and lessening it when decreasing. Render scale should be set to 1, any lower than that and the viewer will start to lose quality. There should be no reason for you to raise it unless you think the quality is not sharp but this might cause it to run slow even possibly crash. Fit to canvas will make that specific camera viewer you open the camera plus menu in to fit the whole canvas covering and deleting your entire setup of cameras in, in place of one. And that's all you need to know, class has ended, quick shout out to the modding community as well as the many people that have commented, subscribed and liked my Beat Saber tutorial videos. I got past 100 subscribers so my next goal is 200. If you are an active watcher of my videos but haven't subscribed which 90% of you haven't, then consider it as I will keep on updating and creating tutorials. Let's aim for that 200. I also do play other games with my friends so check them out as well. As of right now, I'm trying to find a balance between my work schedule and making YouTube videos which I find fun to do. The best way to know when I will be releasing a new one is through my Twitter. Link is in the description. As always, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. More coming out and yeah, peace out.